Okay, I'd like you again to pause and create a chart that looks like this. Leave two rows blank at the bottom for graph types that you haven't learned yet. Put a little snapshot postage stamp if such things still exist picture of what the graph type looks like. Talk about the general trend and the general trend would be something like as X gets bigger, Y gets bigger at a constant rate. As X gets bigger, Y gets smaller. So put a general trend for each of these. The formula, we have formulas for all of these. So fill those in. And then specific meaning, these are real important because these tell you what these graphs are actually telling us. So whatever you're doing, kind of pause and listen to this. And I'm actually gonna write it out for you. The rest of this chart you ought to be able to fill out on your own. But the specific meaning, for a proportional graph, it means that if you two times x, you multiply x by two, you'll get two times the y. That means if you double your x variable, you'll double your y variable. For an inverse graph, if you double the x, your y is cut in half. That's what happens with an inverse graph. A squared graph means if you double the x, you'll get four times the y. A square root graph means that you need to do four times the x in order to double the y. And in no relationship graph, it means y is constant. A linear graph doesn't really have a nice handy dandy thing like this because of the fact that it does not go through the origin. So let me explain what I meant by that two times stuff. So this is a proportional graph and we saw two times x gives me two times y. So if I pick an x of one and I double that to two, I should also double my y value from about half to about one. So if I double my x, I double my y. For an inverse graph, when I go from one to two, I went from about six to about three. So when I doubled my x, I cut my y in half. That's inverse. Squared graph, I go from one to two. I went from about 0.1, I'm sorry, 0.2 to 0.8. So I doubled my x and I four times my y. For a square root graph, it's a little trickier. Okay, here, if we want to double my y, I have to go four times bigger with x. So here I am a little more than uh, two, I'm about 2.4, 2.5. And then when I go four times bigger, I get to about five. Doubled my Y, I had to go four times my X. So I hope that explains what I meant by these, but this is the most important thing with all of these graphs. What does it actually mean? Doubling X doubles Y. Doubling X cuts your Y in half. Doubling your X gives you four times as much. Four times your X gives you only twice as much. Okay, so these are your graph types.